This is Ben, Liam and Bell on Nova. Good day there, podcaster. Yeah, it's a bit of a spicy one today. Um, you know when you go to Nando's and there's a spice level down the bottom, it's sort of like yellow for like piddly sort of sweet and sour and it sort of goes green, amber. It gets all the way up to like red, like super spicy. I think we're in the top end of the pepper today. Um, pretty close to the line, which is a space that we like to play in. Um, but yeah, man, there was some unreal calls. I mean, I, I really like, I, I feel like we've been trying, like some forbidden folders are even more forbidden than others. Like the bosses are like, really don't do that one. Yeah. But uh, it, we had a, a topic that we wanted to touch on fetishes. And for some reason they really didn't like that one, but I'm, I'm glad we did it today, guys. Mm, we also did an accidental forbidden folder as well. Well, that's later true. On. Calls just started getting forbidden all of a sudden <laughs> because people thought that was the vibe of the show. And that's, that's what happens when you're playing in the top end of the pepper. Enjoy. Bit of a worry. My fiance Sarah's picked up a filthy habit. Um, I had my sister in town recently. She's a smoker. I'm trying to lay off the the lung blasters though. Like Bill. Yeah. Okay. Bell We're does. not peddling that. Bell. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> she likes a coffin nail or two, just quietly. I don't. Yeah, on the terrace in between the songs. I don't. Um. Well, the jury's still out. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's smoking around here. I smell. I smell something. <laughs> Something's going on. Anyway, uh, smoking is bad. We know this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we do. We do. And my sister's trying to give it up. It's her New Year's resolution. Yep. Um, and she's found a new habit of vaping. Mm. Uh, and so she was staying with us. She flew back to Adelaide and she didn't want to fly with the, the vape because she didn't know. You know how like portable chargers and vapes and you're not really, know, you're not really sure what you're supposed to fly with and mm. whatever. So she left it at, at our house. Bad move. Because you're Sarah. Kidding. No yeah. way. Yeah, she hasn't dropped the thing since. No, no way. She she's started a nurse. vaping. Sarah's a nurse. I think she's. I think it's more of a joke, but like, <laughs> like she's doing it every I day. Think, no, no. <laughs> I like, no, I've been chain smoking for a decade. It's no, more of a joke. I think it's more like she's marking around. That's but like, so funny. She's that Sarah's <laughs> vaping. I find it quite unattractive. Like she's <laughs> she she's walking around the house like blowing O's. Like she's. Like, Gritty O's. Like, yeah, she's like doing um like vape tricks. She's actually pretty good. <laughs> like it makes me think like what were you were you smoking back when you were like fifteen or something? Like how can you do all these yeah. cool tricks? Because I'm like how I don't know how to do. Any Is of that. it? It's the novelty though that she can do it inside as well. Like it's well, like, yes. and, and it's the novelty. Uh, the problem is if she if this one runs out and she buys one. Mm. That's true. Well, last night I, I, was, I was sitting on the couch and um, she just blew a big cloud of <laughs> mango peach guava vapor right into my face. And it's really bad for my asthma. I've actually got asthma. And I was like, <laughs> stop it, please. <laughs> like, and I, I've realised now I'm, I'm, I'm marrying an Eshe. Like, I feel like next she's going to get the, the bum bag and the scooter and we're going to start fighting people at the train station. Dan, Liam and Bell. It's not too late for a cheeky summer break. What if.com has awesome deals for top Aussie destinations. Plus all kinds of places to stay for your getaway. Jump on the What If app to book your hotels, motels, holiday rentals and more. What If? It's Aussie for travel. It's 610. Hallelujah, it's 610. Talia, good morning. Are you a long-time listener, first-time caller? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, cool. I was just throwing that out there just on the off chance. Um, I think she sounds unsure because you can't be a long-time... Oh! Could be a long time listener of our show. Yeah, have you started listening? Have you listened <laughs> yes, to Nova been, for a long time? Yes, I have been listening to Nova for a long okay, time. Okay, there, there you go. How do you think the show's going so far? Is it annoying you a bit, or are you happy with how things are? Um, you know, uh, sort of... Absolutely loving it. That's good. Correct right. answer. Well, Talia. thank you. Yeah, that's ding. We'll give you a free pass, <laughs> even if you get the first question wrong. Uh, Nick Kyrgios <laughs> has pulled out of the Australian Open, uh, citing a knee injury. Can you spell Kyrgios? K Y R I O S. Oh, it's close. We did say we'd give oh, you a pass, yeah. though. So yeah. you can can you try and we'll give you a second shot. <sighs> you had the K Y R. K Y R. Oh, oh. K Y R. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get over that speed up, <laughs> eh? Um, nah, sorry, Talia. Oh, sorry, Talia. <laughs> Good try, though. I appreciate your call, though. Uh, let's move to Bridget in Reservoir. Uh, can you spell Kyrgios? Uh, is it K-Y-R-G-I-O-S? Good. She's done it. All right, well, four questions in front of you now and the next song we play. Brendan Fraser has cried on stage after accepting the award for Best Actor for his performance in The Whale. That one looks good. Can you name another Brendan Fraser movie? Encino Man. 
Yep. I was. I just know him from the Mummy. To be honest, I was just waiting for you to we say the, the Mummy. mummy. Yeah, but no, that that, that I only had the Mummy. Written oh, down, I was so. thinking you could have done. Is he also in Journey to the Center of the Earth? But you definitely went for. Is he in that? I'm pretty sure he's in that. No, he's yeah, no, he's yeah. the first one. Yeah, 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 can confirm. Hey, it's Jim Carrey's birthday. Sixty-one today. What's the name of his pet detective character? Oh my gosh, my brother loves these movies. So um. Good. Ace Ventura. That's it. Heinz gets a Train off the Delta fan. One of the great films. <laughs> yeah. Um, sexual health <laughs> experts have warned against. The, well, you didn't like my Ace Ventura. Sexual impression. health experts have warned against the TikTok trend of using pesticides as contraceptive. Hey, Bridget. Aside from the pill and condoms, can you name another contraception? The marina. Yeah. Oh. Or me doing Ace Ventura impressions. <laughs> um, okay, Shannon Knoll has appeared in an ad for Uber Eats alongside the Kardashians. Can you finish these Knollsy lyrics? What about me? It isn't fair. I don't have enough. Oh. I want my share. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, oh. that wasn't oh. right. It's, it's, oh. Sorry, that wasn't Bridget. right. That wasn't right. Uh, you gave get... Talia a point before because she just said, "Yeah, I listened to yeah. Nova." Well, no, I gave her <laughs> another shot at the question. Sorry, we got to go to Shelley in Barrick. Can you finish the Nolsey lyrics? What about me? It isn't fair. I've had enough. Now I want my chance. Yeah, that was very good. Nice. 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 Oh, very good, Shelley. Uh, you are in the draw for Nova's free for 23. We're talking an extra $1,000 in your bank account every week for the whole year. How does that sound? That sounds awesome. Thank you so much, guys. You also get to choose the next song we play this morning, Shelley. So, would you like a bit of Huber Stank? Or do you want the greatest song ever written? Dream Catch Me. That's where I'm going. Where are you going? Hold it close, won't let this go. Woo! Oh, yeah. There's nothing like a bit of Newton Faulkner in the morning. Uh, Shelley, <laughs> what's it going to be? Are we getting Hooper Stanky this morning? Are we Are we giving Newton a run? Yeah, I think I think we got to go with the first one, please. Ooh, interesting yes. choice. Yes. Good, I mean, Shelley. I, Hooper Stank's not bad. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, it takes me back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, cool okay. No, yeah, I, yeah, that's all right. As long as someone as long as long someone listening picks Newton Faulkner tomorrow because he's really counting on the royalties. And, oh. and, and, <laughs> and I love that song. Hooper Stank are as well. <laughs> Ben, do you have your key? I have, Liam. Bell, do you have your key? Uh, hang on, yes. I got mine. Let's turn them. And open up the forbidden folder. This is where we keep uh, all the ideas that are too taboo for breakfast radio. You wouldn't normally hear this sort of stuff at this time of the morning. And it's probably for good reason. I'm surprised. You're about to find out what the topic is. I'm surprised that we're doing this... At this time of the morning, like you, you would not be hearing this after eight, certainly. But I thought, to be honest, we'd probably do this pre seven yeah. a.m. Okay. But we're doing it at eleven past seven, so let's right. do it. Okay, here we go. Thirteen twenty four ten. What's your fetish? Mm. Not here to yuck anyone's yum, but you know, if you if you feel like saying, "Hey, this is my thing." Thirteen twenty four ten. Yeah, if anything, we're here to yum your yum, but we're here to encourage it. You know what I mean? Just want to yummy. Yum on their fetish. That's fair. Yeah. Hey, uh, would you guys have one? Uh, for me, it's uh, when people say my impressions are spot on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it really gets me going. Is that, is no, that, could that be serious counted question, as a question, Liam? Do you have one? Yeah, Liam, fetishes aren't funny. Uh, no, I'm not. There's no. Yeah, I'm not into like feet or anything like that. If that's what you're asking. It's always one that people go to, <laughs> like fetish. Oh, feet. Well, that's well, that that's, that that's, that's the, the you, when you. That's not the main one, but that is the that's the forefront remember, of your mind. I remember. Um, this is when I really knew I'd made it in radio. I got I was on uh, this page called like Feety McFeet Face or something, and it's mm. like it's like um, like a lot of uh, men in Australian media and sport, and they they some someone trolls through their Instagram, gets photos of their feet, and then puts not like I was uploading them, being like, "Hey guys, check this out." It was yeah. more just like I was on the beach, and then they like zoom into the feet. Yeah! Wow! Yeah! Yeah! Ben? I would say I'm into all the normal stuff. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't have a fetish. Okay. Yeah. Right. What about you, Belle? I mean, you're, you're the one throwing the question <laughs> Oh, uh, no, look, I don't, I don't think I do. Because like you, kind of similar to you, Ben, it's like, well, 
I don't know if like if there's a guy in uniform, like yeah, that's hot. Well, that but could that be would a be fetish. That's that's a thing. Th- oh, I'd say that it is a fetish. That's not a fetish. That is a fetish. Nah, it's technically a fetish. Mm, I think. Yeah, I don't know. People in uniforms. Yeah. Okay. But I ha- look. I have been asked a not, very not extreme like a one before. Dom Perrottet type situation. More of a. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> the, the, the uniforms that are sexy. Yeah. yeah it's not yeah. any uniform. Yeah. No, yeah, you're good. thinking of authority. Okay. Hang on, were you building up towards telling us a well, story about... Well, so I've about... been asked... I did have a guy once ask me to do something for him that was his fetish. Interesting. He uh, had a thing where he really liked when girls wore stiletto heels... Right. ...and stepped on oh! him. Where? Uh, on the... On, on his uh, package. Oh! Yeah. Wow. I didn't do it because I was like, you know what, I actually, like... A, I couldn't bring myself to do it, and B, I was like, I don't want to rush you to hospital if it goes wrong. On the twig or the berries? The we didn't berries. specify. Be- oh. Yeah. At least yeah. if it was like a, you know, a, you know I'd kind of get if it was a gel Asics Keanu or something like that. <laughs> I, I, mean? I wouldn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, I mean, like <laughs> okay. a stiletto, that's the worst possible. It's yeah, so pointed, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Like if it was a, a, a comfy slipper. You know, maybe that's, <laughs> maybe like, that's I think, I think maybe, either way it will hurt. Maybe, you're, maybe you are in defeat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, every time I see, a, every time I walk past an athlete's foot. Well, look, you can remain anonymous for this. You don't have to tell us your name. You don't have to tell us where you're from. But it is an interesting area to talk yeah. about because you don't hear this on the radio every day of the week. We would love to know thirteen twenty four ten. What's your fetish? We do have tons of prizes to give away. Uh, also, if you you get your voice on air, you will be in the draw for Nova's Free for 23. That is $1,000 in your bank account every week for the entire year. It is a big roll of the dice. So far, we've got no callers, but I do have faith in Melbourne that we'll get a couple for this. 13 24 10. That is our number. Give us a buzz and let us know what's your fetish. Elliot in Fraser Island, thank you so much for calling. Um, what, what are you into, Elliot? Yeah, good day. Uh, my fetish, bit of a weird one. Mm. I love women's perfume. Okay, well, interesting. That's, that's like that's quite a uh, classy one, I'd say. Elliot, to what point are you just buying it and smelling it yourself, or does it have to be on a girl? Uh, yeah, it has to be on a girl, but I don't mind it on me either. Um, I just, I don't know. I just find something about it. it's just, yeah, it's a bit weird. But have I just you? Love yeah. it. Oh. Have you ever been intimate with a lady and she hasn't quite smelt right, so you suggested perhaps she spray some of the perfume in your bedside table? Well, look, I always say she's got to put some on. Mm. Uh, just, I feel like spices it up a bit. Elliot, can you walk, you know, has, I, I can't really process what the smell is, but sometimes you work, walk past someone at the shops or whatever, you know, oh, they smell nice, or like, oh, they stink. But, like, can you identify what perfume someone's wearing you at that stage? Oh, uh, only a couple, yeah. um, mm. especially with my girlfriend, but not not with other not with other people. Have you? You mentioned your girlfriend there. Have you got a good smelling girlfriend, Elliot? Yes, for sure. Nice. She'd nice have one. to be. She'd have to be. It seems to me. I don't want to go too deep into your into your psyche, Elliot, but it does seem like you probably had a good smelling mum growing up. Don't I you mean, reckon? I was thinking that too, but I. Yeah, yeah no, you don't I want don't, to draw that no, line straight away. Look, I don't. I don't think it's that weird. It, it was weird the four times they had to ask you to leave Chemist Warehouse, but apart from that, <laughs> apart from that, it's fine. No, Elliot, I uh, really appreciate your call and sharing this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, Anonymous joins us now. Good morning, Anonymous. Good morning. How are you guys? Very good, thank you. First of all, thanks for coming on and sharing. Um, secondly, what's your fetish? Um, anything to do with the BDSM thing. Yeah, cool. Right what, sorry? BDSM. Oh. Okay, so Anonymous, are you in that scene? Uh, are you a sub or a dom? Uh, I'm a switch. Cool. I don't know what <laughs> anyone just said for the last 30-odd <laughs> seconds. So well, I'm not going to lie to you. You're a submissive you. or you're a, a dom. What's, well, a, be what's a switch? Does that mean you go either way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I right can on. go either way. Oh, right. just, just, to go, just, just to go back to the absolute basics and on, um, BDSM, is that, so that, is, is that, just, is that ropes? What, what is that? Um, uh, anything and everything. It could be rope. It could be candle wax. It could be ice. Oh, you, know, you got the ch- whips, chains and whips. It could be paddles. <laughs> wow! Na 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 na! Come on! Come, come on! on. Yes. <laughs> so you, so you will get a candle and drip the hot wax, and the pain is also pleasure. Absolutely, and, and you can vary that pain. The closer the candle, 
to the body, the hotter the wax. So right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, right. Play around with that. And on, uh, is this something, like, if, you, if you've if you met someone, right, like, when do you flag this, that this is your thing, you know? Well, it depends on where you meet that person. Like, um, there are online communities. Um, like, say, for instance, yeah, there, there's specific sites, you know, for people that are on the scene. Mm, of course. Or if you're on just like a, I don't know, an everyday garden variety, um, you know, dating site, yep. um, you could put like, you know, trigger words into your profile mm. and, you know, often that can, you know, start a conversation going down that, you know, down that area. Yeah, for sure. So right. It depends oh, on right. the person. Yeah. Oh, sounds good, and I might have to try it out sometime. <laughs> uh, no, you should. You might be into it. Lauren from Greensboro. Uh, you've called through. It's the Forbidden Folder. You're here with Ben, Liam and Bell. What's your fetish? Okay, so it's actually a guy wearing a tie. There's just something about a guy wearing a nice tie. Uh, just a tie and nothing else? No, just in general, anything. Hmm, okay, so ha- like, has it gotten to the point where you have, uh, you know, made sure that he keeps it on while you're in the act or mm. is it just yeah. you see a guy across the room and you go, that's nice? <laughs> no, keep it on. Yeah, right. Lauren, I only own these ones, so how do you feel about springy times? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take that off. Uh, okay. I, I don't know. It's hard to tie, though, the real ones. Again, not to get to Sigmund Freud, but it sounds like maybe that's like a dad thing. No. I then you reckon like her dad it, was going to work with a tie on. It's got some weird psycho. Can we, can we take the whole parents thing out of the bed? <laughs> <laughs> You're making it weird. You're the only one making it weird. I think we know Ben's thing because he keeps bringing it up. You know what I'm saying? Ben, myself and Bell have asked. 13, 24, 10. What's your fetish? And we have another anonymous call from Armadale. Uh, what's your fetish? Body piercing. Body oh. piercing. So you like looking at the piercings on other people or you like having them yourself? I like having them myself. Eyebrows, tongues, toes, anything. Toes? <laughs> yeah, hey, what? I've never so, even heard of a toe piercing. But does that mean that you have to have one to then be able to really enjoy yourself? Are you just covered in them now? Uh, yeah. Wow. Here's yeah, a question pretty, for you, Anonymous. <laughs> have you ever been with someone who had the, uh, and maybe you do yourself, I don't know, have you ever been with someone with a downstairs piercing? No. Would you like no. that? Possibly. possibly. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems yeah. dangerous to me. Ben's also not offering, by the way. I, 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 I know firsthand he doesn't have one of those. It did sound a little bit like, <laughs> why you know Would you like it? <laughs> Would you like that? <laughs> Oh, thanks for the call, Anonymous. Jamie and Rosebud, what's your fetish? Hi there. Um, I love the dentist. <laughs> okay. Hang on. So you just you go to the dentist, you know, ooh, get the plaque Oh, I love me. it. I love, love laying back and, like, opening my mouth and that, like, drilly noise and the water splashing. But where's, the, but where's, the, where's the line, yeah. though, between you just enjoy going to the dentist no. and then it becomes a sexual fantasy? Oh, I don't know if I could say that on air. <laughs> Is it because it gives you a reaction, Jamie? Uh, yeah, I love the, like, it's like um, stimulating inside my brain almost, the noise. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what, Jamie? Jamie? And the gloves. The gloves do yeah. it. <laughs> no, like, you know what, Jamie? I think you've uncovered something in me as well. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> and, you, you, you know what it is? It's also they have complete control over you and exactly. you do feel very vulnerable with like lying there with, you know, yeah, your mouth like wide I, open I, and stuff. I, I the like gloves, the gloves. I get it. Jamie, there'd be wow. uh, a, 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 at least 50 dentists this morning walking around with a, a pep in their step being like, <laughs> you know, they always say they're really sad because they bring everyone pain and stuff. They're like, no, actually, I'm sexy. This is cool. The girls love this. We've had spam, Smith. <laughs> Tim Tam Smith. Tim Tam Smith. And Ham Smith. <laughs> but this bit still has legs. So call us right now. 13 24 10 for tickets to Jam Smith. <laughs> Do you like this one, Bill? Oh, gosh, I thought it would die yesterday, but here we are. No, no, I'm going to push this to a bit of bloody end. The way this will work is Liam will fill his fat gob (laughs) with jam. He's then going to sing a Sam Smith song. If you can tell us the name of the song he's singing, 
You're walking away with the Sam Smith tickets. Uh, what jam did you go for? Uh, we've got some beer in the uh, strawberry here. There's actually chunks of straw in there as well. I think it might have been Cotties, I reckon. Probably, probably could have got away with Beer and Burg. Like, uh, I, I don't know if you needed to pull that handbrake right up. But, uh, hey, just out of interest, Monique, did you care which brand of jam it was? Was that a sticking point for you as well? Or, you know, you would have been happy just going with what I said? Okay. Uh, it's just, uh, Monique's just Monique, are tickets. you there? Oh, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm going to put... I'm going to put the jam in my mouth now. I think it's pretty obvious where this is going. Yeah, if you can pick the song, obviously you're getting the tickets. All right, Liam is putting the jam Come in his mouth. It's a lot of jam. That's a lot of jam. Well, you have to have a lot, otherwise you just eat mm, jam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lot mm, That is a lot of blood and the blood from the sun. Not the lentils, not the blood. From the middle power up. Monique, what's the Sam Smith song? Oh, I know this one. That's... Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Um... <clears throat> Three, two, one. Oh, God, that's the that's just come out. One. Oh. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, sorry, Monique. Mm. All right, Christina in Craigieburn. Uh, Liam's going to sing a Sam Smith song with a mouthful of jam. you got to guess which one it is. What is jam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm a woman potter. I'm a woman like Rihanna. Is it dancing with a stranger? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound anything like dancing with a stranger. No. All right, Christy in Frankston, what Sam Smith song is Liam singing? Is it Lay Me Down? He didn't even sing it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Christy. Nice try, though. Uh, is it Lena in East Brunswick? Mm. Liam's going to uh, sing. Mm-hmm. Well, yep. Liam, take yep. it away. You're heading along to Sam Smith. Congratulations. Thank you so much. No worries at all. You also get... Cotties, specifically Cotties <laughs> brand jam, sent directly to your house. I'm sorry for asking the question. I just, I care about jam as um, a jam enthusiast. Liam, you've got a little, like, dot of jam on your chin. Oh, yeah, mate, I'll get really it. really gross. Come here. Mm, his favourite, Cotties. He likes that one. <laughs> ben, you and I have been friends for 10 years. Um, Belle, you and I are getting a little bit closer. Uh, okay. Sounds like you're just acquaintances. I've been around for half of that friendship. <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. We've been friends for five years, a long time as well. And uh, but, but Ben, you did something yesterday, mm. the first time ever in our 10 years of friendship. Mm. Um, pretty cute. Uh, last night we went on a little team trip to the tennis. And before we went, I got my first ever... Hey, what are you wearing tonight? Call yeah. from Ben. <laughs> um, which is, if, if you if you don't know Ben, that's huge to him because it must have brought him a lot of shame. He's a he's a you know he's a country guy. He notoriously doesn't care about dress codes. In fact, in the past, when I've asked the exact same question, mm. you either a roast me or <laughs> B send back a joke response like oh yeah I'm wearing a ham sandwich and then and then I'm like well like I'm actually trying to start a serious conversation because I don't actually know what the dress code is for this thing do you remember that time we went to we went to this like fancy restaurant for like a work thing mm. and I said is it blazers tonight I very rarely wear a blazer yeah. bell but you know when it's, it feels well, like the, rarely when the occasion's right you know it's right and yeah Ben you know I think he roasted me on that on that particular <laughs> occasion mm. and he rocked up to this restaurant literally everyone was wearing like a suit or a blazer he wore ripped jeans thongs and a t-shirt he looked like crap <laughs> and, and 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 you sat down at the table still with no shame if i were you i would walk in and be like i'm going home getting changed i'm not i'm not that is so embarrassing it makes you know what sense I mean? now though because last night you were both wearing the exact same thing so yeah. did you call liam and then in hindsight i'm regretting it now no i did i don't know why i had a moment of weakness if I, you wore the exact I, same thing 
I imagine like Ben psyching himself up for his first like, like, hey man, what are you wearing tonight? Oh no, no, well, no, that's that's lame. Like, hey bro, wearing tonight? Like well, he's trying to like work out like how to say it. To what's me. embarrassing is I called you and you didn't answer. So then I had the shame of going, oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, you didn't but, answer. And then you called back. Yeah, and and even in that moment of panic, I have on good authority that you also called our dear friend producer Andy <laughs> and obviously wow. obviously within that time you got the dress code from him because you're pretty cool with me I called back and you're like yeah man like what are you wearing tonight and then I was like yeah I'm thinking like you know like a button up shirt maybe some boots but apparently Andy said he got grilled he was just trying to say what he's wearing and you're like and the shoes what are you wearing for the shoes oh, and ben. this is what I get this is what I get for showing a little bit of vulnerability <laughs> to my friends I ask what they're wearing and then I get roasted on air hey, for it hey girl what are we wearing tonight <laughs> Right, should we sync up? <laughs> G'day, good morning, Melbourne, and today is going to be stinking hot, 37 degrees. Damn, that is hot. Uh, gone for the, the shorts and burks today myself, Bell. Uh, I've got a skirt and sneakers yeah. on. Yeah, what about you, Ben? Uh, I've gone for the shorts, jumper, and thongs. What? Jumper. Well, yeah, because I don't want to get too into the nitty gritty here of the Nova building, but in our office where we sit, the the heater is on like twenty eight degrees. So you're melting in there and it's locked so you can't change it. And then you come here into the radio studio, which is on 18 degrees. So it's a real yeah. I do attack agree. of the senses. It's very, very hard doing our job. It's so <laughs> hard. Um, spare a thought for... If you're you know, a garbage person this morning or maybe you're on a job site or you're a nurse, you're, perhaps... You're, you're working on a roof all day. You're working in a roof, doing even open better. open heart surgery. Do us a favour mm-hmm. and think about how cold it is in this studio right because now. Because at least inside that roof... It's 50 degrees consistently. But we, we don't know where we are. It's cold, it's hot. The temp keeps changing. Hey, Kim Kardashian's kids, uh, the kids who have it all. Well, not everything, apparently, because Kimmy K's oldest son, St. West, who is seven years old, has lost their first tooth. That's cute. Um, but rather than ask for money from the tooth fairy... Uh, this is all posted on Kimmy K's Instagram story, by the way. Saint has asked for a Robux gift card to use for the children's game Roblox even instead you, of money. Even the way you said that sounds like a like a parent being like Robux. Yeah, what's Robux? Is that like a new Minecraft? Essentially, yeah. So, so the game is Roblox, and then in the game you spend Robux. You know what <laughs> I mean? Right. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, get, it definitely get kids into gambling early and that yeah, sort of stuff. Yeah. It certainly does. Uh, kids love Roblox. Uh, it's the hot new game. Um, I've got four nephews myself uh, between the ages of two and ten, so they tend to help me keep up to date with what uh, you know. Kids, I love games myself, but mm. not not Robux. I'm not playing that Roblox. Um, and she saw the kids uh, googling something in her phone history, and she called me because she didn't understand what they were googling, um, and just said how to earn Robux quick. <laughs> that would look so sad. Yeah, because you're like, what is that? What is? What are they trying to oh get quick? God. What is my son involved with? And he then I explained robots, it. It's just like a, quick. it's an in-game currency that you get with real currency. Yeah, I get you. Right. Getcha. Yeah. Still concerning for a parent. Though. Oh yeah. Did he get the Robux quick? <laughs> I don't know if he got the Robux quick we or not. Should check in with him. Um, him they certainly look. Kids. Uh, we haven't got any kids, but we do have mm. nephews and nieces, and they do Google some pretty wild thoughts. Yes, especially these days, I feel if you're like a teacher, mm. you can't even man what the kids are Googling on. Like, they all get iPads yeah. now. You don't just, like when we went to school, us three, we all, did you guys just have the desktop uh, computers or laptops or? Uh, Bell, we had a, a room at our school called the computer room with about three computers <laughs> in it. Um, but obviously you went to a pretty yeah. ritzy school in and then Melbourne. In the actual, in the actual, um, like the classroom, I had a notepad with 48 pages. Yeah. That's what I, I, had. I remember, yeah, at our school it was called computer lab and it had yeah. cages around it because people kept breaking in on the weekends <laughs> and stealing the computers. Yeah, we got all oh, the okay. mouses taken away from our computers because we used to take the ball bearing. Remember how they had ball bearings in the bottom of them? Yeah. We used to throw them at each yeah. other. You, yeah. What? Yeah. Well, this yeah. is why you can't have nice things. I mean, you my... see, people at my school respected our laptops and we... We use them. Well, also, you probably had armed security guards paroling at school at night. <laughs> anyway, we, just, you know what? We're getting, we're getting way off topic. No, what I would love to know, though, is because kids do Google the wildest things. Uh, and look, you have history, so you can check what they've Googled. I'd love to know, 13, 24, 10, what did you catch your kids Googling? Maybe it was red-handed. Maybe it was later on in the day when you look through the history. You've given them your phone to play a game. And they've gotten onto Google. 13, 24, 10. Give us a buzz. What did you catch your kids Googling? Grace in Point Cook. Good morning. What did you catch them Googling? Good morning, all. 
Um, it was about 20 years ago. Mm. Uh, my son Googled Dragon Ball Z, mm. and he came rushing through to the bedroom mm. going, I Googled Dragon Ball Z, come see what came up, yeah. and a porn site had come up. Uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball goodness. Z? Dragon I Balls, you know. I think so. Dragon Balls. Did, okay. did the oh. son misspell Dragon Ball Z, or did they actually write Dragon Ball Z? I, I think he wrote Dragon Ball Z, and that came up. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you said 20 years ago, so oh, back in 2002 or 2003 yeah. now, pretty wild place, the internet, like in terms of like you Google Dragon Ball Z and porn comes up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it hasn't really improved uh, much <laughs> yeah. over the 20 years. Uh, Christy joins us now. What did you catch hey. kicks Googling? G'day. Uh, my, I found my girls uh, watching horses have sex. Why? Yeah, uh, well, they ride horses with my sister, and um, yeah. oh. uh, one search led to the next, and next minute we have horses, uh, oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> As you can imagine, that was an interesting conversation. Yeah. Well, I guess it's kind of like birds and the bees, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right, you don't want to learn it from a horse, though. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. like, there's a reason why it's birds and bees and not <laughs> horse giant stallion. horse stallion. Like, uh, that's, you shouldn't be subjected to that. Yes, yeah. that is very true. Hey, I would love some more calls on 13 at 2410. Yeah, this is a weird episode of Saddle Club. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly in Pakenham, good morning. What did you catch from Googling? I caught my kids Googling big girls weeing. <laughs> Okay, well, that's... how did you how did you handle how, how did you handle that, Kelly? Well, oh. I've got three daughters. Yeah, they were toilet training the youngest one, so the biggest one thought she would try and help. Okay, yeah, um, right. Okay, okay. that makes sense. Specifically, big. <laughs> Yeah. You know, that's, no, because you know, you're a big girl, you, yeah. know, you go to the toilet yep. properly. That, so, that's a lot more innocent. It was more, yeah, that's lost correct, in translation. Yeah, 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 I get you. As you as you can imagine. We came up with lots of pictures of larger women yes, yes, <laughs> on yes. the toilet and in other positions. <laughs> okay. yeah, like, that's the thing. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice, innocent thing. If I had it on my work computer, <laughs> there would be questions asked. Um, Cleopatra <laughs> from Ashford. Gee whiz. This one's been pretty pretty wild, hasn't this it? It's not. Um, <laughs> which I feel stupid for thinking, yeah, 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 no, they'll just be Googling like funny yeah. things. Yeah, no. What, what did you catch your kids Googling, Cleopatra? I caught my eight-year-old Googling, why does my mum wear nappies? Because she caught me changing my pad in the toilet. <laughs> oh, okay. Aww. Again, um, very innocent. I tried to have the talk with her. Yeah. And she yeah. was like, look, I'm not listening. So yeah. I said, okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. No, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. but, like, I suppose she, you know, she didn't want to ask you, so she went to Google. Because Google yeah, has the answer for everything. She doesn't want to listen to you, though. She yeah. said, no, I'm going to trust what Google says. Uh, Luke joins us now. Good morning, Luke. What did you catch your kids Googling? Good morning. I uh, caught my son Googling the word Porn, but uh, he didn't know how to spell it properly, so put in P A W N. Not uh, he wasn't convinced though. With uh, he wasn't convinced with the answer that he got. So yeah. the, the final variation was uh, was prawn, and then prawn sex. Oh, nice. <laughs> what came up. Yeah, nice. Well, right. Hopefully, you got them, them sweet, sweet prawn picks that he was looking for. <laughs> tail on or tail off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I feel so guilty, guys. My boyfriend uh, Luke and I made a promise to each other and I've already broken it. Mm. In fact, I broke it r- way too soon. How, how soon are we talking, Bill? On the same day that we made the promise. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty soon. A lot of my friends recently have started dropping off social media mm. and I've I, the more people I talk to when I go, hey, I haven't seen you on my feed recently... And I say, oh, no, 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 I deleted Instagram or mm. I've just deleted the app and then I might come back later, don't know. It's a thing normally that uh, celebrities like to do every two months. They go like, oh, I'm having a clear out and then boom, delete it and we'll get rid of all their posts and then they're back. Britney Spears is a big fan of it. She's, she, been, she's yep. been clearing and returning a hell of a lot of times recently. Uh, and I'm kind of inspired as well, Ben, by your wife, Sam, who's done it as well. Yeah, she's, she did it before everyone was doing it. She deleted it a long time ago. Uh, oh, like Facebook, gone. Instagram, gone. On. Um, she just didn't like. She didn't like social media for all the all the negative reasons that people don't like it. Um, she's really stepped it up a notch though. As of the weekend, just gone. Like I went to go message her or something, and it's easier for me to send stuff in Messenger. I couldn't find her, and I was like, I can't find your Messenger. She said, yeah, I deleted it. As in a Facebook Messenger, just the she Messenger app. Deleted the app. 
Yeah, right. So she's never, she deleted Facebook a long time yeah, ago. You can yeah. have, I got rid of Facebook yeah. ages back, but you can still, still have Messenger so yeah. people can, yeah. But well, she, she, dele- she deleted that and I said, why would you delete Messenger? Like, that's, not even, that's not even a social media. And she said, yeah, but if people want to text me, they'll have my number. Yeah. Wow, she really, she's yeah. just getting harder and harder to, to get a grasp yeah, on. Yeah, for isn't sure. She? <laughs> but I turned iMessage off, so they'll, they'll get, they have to, it has to be green text only. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I phased that one out before I snap it over a rock. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. So Luke and I said, all right, well, how about on the weekend we pledged that we'd have a, like, take it one step further, have a phone-free weekend. Wow. So no social media, see how we go, but also no phones. And it was Friday afternoon and I was like, yep, let's do this. Let's put our phones down. How long do you guys think I lasted before, uh, well, I jumped back on my phone? Well, you told us you didn't last a day. So it was, uh, let's say, 18 hours. I'm going to say two. I lost 42 minutes. <laughs> 42 minutes? <laughs> and then not, not only was it that short, but I realised that I had broken the promise, both promises, after I'd posted an Instagram story. So I posted a story on Insta and then went, ah. Yeah, you, you, you literally, you, you timestamped yourself. right. Yeah, no. Yeah, In the it online is tough. world. It really is tough. Well, what's trending? It's trending all over the internet. Twitter. Instagram. Welcome to Facebook. <laughs> Well, the biggest news this morning, Nick Kyrgios has pulled out of the Oz Open, citing a knee injury, well, specifically a cyst in his knee. If you haven't seen, he shared a lovely photo of the cyst after it was taken out of his knee on his Insta story. Show me them cyst pics. (laughs) Uh, But this actually comes after he was spotted riding down Elizabeth Street on an e-scooter with his girlfriend on the same scooter without helmets. Uh, This is actually a $227 fine, and police are looking into the matter. Good. I hope it's on the top of their priority list. I, I'll, I'll sleep safer knowing that Nick Kyrgios has been fined for not wearing a helmet. I think shame on the narcs for seeing him on an e-scooter with his partner and then dobbing him in. Does, does, does um, Nick Kyrgios look like one of those guys on an e-scooter that would play his music out loud as he's coming past? <laughs> what, but, like you do? I don't do that. Yes, you, you have do. done in the past. Oh, yeah. You're talking about that night? <laughs> yeah, when the boss caught you? Yeah, I had a pretty, like... Uh, and when I say pretty, I mean like the biggest night of my life. And I was, I was, I was like, I didn't have headphones. I was playing my music on my phone, and I was like <laughs> riding my e-scooter past. And then my, I saw my boss like literally his jaw drop. And I was like, Is that Liam? And it was also it was kind of like me catching him out as well. Like, what are you doing out at three a.m.? Like, what, what, what are you doing? You know what I mean? And Brendan Fraser has brought the world to tears after he delivered an emotional acceptance speech at the Critics' Choice Awards yesterday. I want you to know that if you too can have the strength to just get to your feet and go to the light, good things will happen. He won Best Actor for The Whale. It's his first role in almost a decade. So he was talking about the director basically giving him a light at the end of the tunnel. He'd been in this hole for 10 years and he finally got out of it. You cannot not love Brendan Fraser at the moment. I think it, like, he just seemed like, you know, because he was one of those he was one of those ones in the clickbait articles, like, why Hollywood don't mm. hire Brendan Fraser anymore? And you're like, oh yeah, what happened to that guy? But I also feel like it's, I haven't seen the movie yet, but from seeing the trailer, it doesn't seem like too far off, like a guy whose life's gone down the drain mm. and he's trying to get a second chance. My like, worry is though, that the new clickbait is Brendan Fraser on the mend, but then people are going to stop caring. You know what I mean? That's my worry. Yeah, but then it'll be really hot again. If he, if he gets to George of Jungle level, we might, you know, <laughs> you'll never guess what he looks like now, post-whale. Yeah. And Uber Eats has released a new ad starring Chris and Kendall Jenner alongside Nolsey. I'm on, I'm on Uber Eats. Want anything? Anything? Well, almost anything. What about me? Sorry, no Nolseys. It isn't fair. I guess they can get almost, almost anything. Literally none of these work. Maybe we just get you a salad. Uh, also alongside Abby Chatfield, Mark Philippoussis, uh, and it's all kind of pointing the finger at Kendall Jenner as well and the fact that she can't cut a cucumber. She's leaning into that. I'd love to know what they're on. Like, obviously, you know, the Jenners would be on the top wicket, but Australian ones, like, you got Chatfield, Nolsey, the poo. <laughs> yeah, where, where's the, where, where, what do you reckon? What would you... What, well, they're not on Chris and Kendall Jenner. Yeah, I know. I, I would say Chris and Kendall, then probably Abby Chatfield, yep. then Nolsey, then the Scud. Yeah, oh, Nolsey last. Yeah, I reckon they blew the what budget. Would you, what would you guys have to be paid to go on an Uber Eats ad? I would do it for free because I love the Uber Eats ads. I would honestly yeah. do it for free. There you go. If I got to hang out with the poo for a bit, I'd, yeah, I'd, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd do it for that, 100%. The tennis has kicked off, uh, and I went to see my first ever 
tennis game yesterday. Never seen one at any level, local or like the world's best. And now well, I feel just like never seen tennis. Well, no, all. never. And now I feel like I've set the bar too high because mm. um, I mean the women's game, world number one was playing. Iga, I remember it was her first name. I forgot her last name. I remember I, I saw a little bit of Medvedev, but I, I went home um, so I could get some sleep. But I, I was so close that I noticed he was wearing OG jocks. He was wearing, like, white shorts, and he was wearing, like... You know those jocks that you'd wear in primary school, Ben, before, like, yeah. the Bonds break. Like actual, like, undie cut. Yeah, like undies. And Aww. he was having a terrible time. Every time he was going up for serve, he was picking out, like, three wedgies. <laughs> and I was like, you would think, like, all this preparation, Grand Slam, you're, like, one of the best players in the world, you'd think you'd... You pick the right jocks, right? Yeah, or at but least is it just for skins. freedom? Freedom of movement, you know? There's it's nothing not. being bunched up. There was nothing free there. It yeah. was all up his bum. I yeah, saw I it with my I own eyes. Hey, oh. A-O. Or A-O. I'll have what she's having. Yeah, this is a good one to do pre-7am, so thank you very much for joining us. Uh, so, pretty simple game. Tickets to the tennis. You just have to tell us, is it... The AO, the Australian Open, or is it adults only, the grunts? Because sometimes, you know, the groaning and the grunting you hear, it it does blur the lines. Uh, I had the chance to see Medvedev at Rod Laver last night. He was going for a bit of a... Uh, just a light groan, but very consistent. He made mm. that sound every time, almost as if the shot wouldn't work unless he let that sound out. Now, Liam, you and I have not heard these groans yet. No. So we'll be playing along as well. Good morning to Tash in Karam. How are you? Good morning. How are you guys? Very good. Thank you, Tash. Now, you understand the rules? I do. All right. We played this yesterday, and I'm pretty sure people struggled. Like They got too mm. wrong. and then, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's harder than you think. This is sound... Number one. I mean, Tash, I mean, I know what I'm thinking instantly, but, I mean, it's up to you to lock. Oof. Then again, can you hear a little scuffle? I mean, it's... what do you think, Tash? I think I think it might be uh, adults only. Do you think adults only? Bill, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. And Liam, you also think adults only? Oh. I, it sounds like that, but I feel like I can hear tennis scuffles. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we put tennis scuffles under all of them. D- do we? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's very tricky if we do. Sorry, but that's the spirit of the game. I, I feel like that's deceiving. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Tash, it's on you. You got to lock one Final in. answer. What do you think? Yeah, adults, definitely. No, sorry. Oh, sorry. Tennis. <laughs> I heard the scuffle. You should have gone with me. Bill's got bad ears. Uh, Justine joins us now. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Good morning. Good morning. All right, here we go. Sound number two for tickets to the tennis. (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, that's... That's not even... That's not even a grunt. (laughs) Sounds like a bit of a surprise happened there. It's Um, kind of like a Medvedev, kind of like a bit of a soft one. uh, (laughs) That's not a grunt. (laughs) What do you you think, Justine? (laughs) I'm, I'm going to go with the Australian Open. What? Really? Oh, sorry. No, no, sorry. I was so sure you were going to say the other one. I had to think ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Justin. Definitely adults only. You think only. there's players out there hitting the ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, sorry, Justin. Uh, Michael. That is, of course, adults only. Michael and Taylor's Lakes. There's only one left. This is for tickets to the tennis. I mean, they're the hottest tickets in town. Everyone wants to go at the moment. Can you tell us if this is adults only or Australian Open? Oh. Oh, can I hear one more time? Yeah, I'll turn it up for you. Hang on, here we go. Uh, I'm going to just go adult. What are you thinking, Lynn? Adult is the same. I'm thinking Australian Open for that one. Michael, I'll be honest with you. Bear, what are you thinking? No, I'll go with adults only. Oh. All right, Michael, final answer. What do you reckon? Adult entertainment. It's not. It's tennis. Oh. Which means... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did we uh, find where the dump button was? We did find where the dump button nice. was. And it means, Jake, you are winning those tickets to the tennis, mate. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, Jake. Please don't say the F-bomb because Michael just did and we are out of dump time. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.